tired of wifi dead zones in your home? Does your online gaming session keep getting interrupted by a poor connection? Or maybe your cozy attic office just can't stay connected to your router in the basement? Well, you're not alone in this wireless woes. But the big question is, how do you solve it? Do you need a Wi-Fi booster, a Wi-Fi repeater, or a Wi-Fi extender? And what on earth is the difference between them? Welcome to the ultimate showdown. Wi-Fi booster versus Wi-Fi repeater versus Wi-Fi extender. Understanding the basics. Let's start with the basics. In the digital age, our homes are filled with devices hungry for a strong Wi-Fi signal. The router alone, however, often can't satisfy this hunger. This is where Wi-Fi boosters, repeaters, and extenders come in, each serving a unique function in your quest for wireless coverage. Wi-Fi boosters are the catch-all term for devices that improve your signal strength. They're like the vitamins of Wi-Fi. They give your signal a little extra oomph. But within this category, we have two specific types of vitamins, repeaters and extenders. And while they might seem similar, they have different functions in the connectivity ecosystem. Wi-Fi repeater. What's in a name? Let's delve into Wi-Fi repeaters. Imagine a game of Chinese whispers, where one person whispers a message to the next, and so on. A Wi-Fi repeater does something similar with your Wi-Fi signal. It takes the signal from your router and repeats it to extend its reach. But just like in the game, there can be a loss in translation, or in this case, signal strength. This is because Wi-Fi repeaters often operate on a single radio band, using half of the bandwidth to receive the signal, and the other half to transmit it. Therefore, while they extend your Wi-Fi coverage, they can potentially reduce your connection speed, particularly if you're using bandwidth-heavy services like online gaming or streaming in high definition. When it comes to Wi-Fi booster versus Wi-Fi repeater, think of it this way. A booster could be any device that amplifies your signal, while a repeater specifically takes the existing signal and rebroadcasts it, sometimes at a cost to bandwidth. This is an important distinction to make when considering what's best for your home network. Wi-Fi extender, the signal stretcher. Now, let's talk about Wi-Fi extenders. These devices are the long-distance runners of the Wi-Fi world. They take your existing signal and not only extend its reach, but also strive to maintain its strength. They're like relay racers passing the baton. The signal is handed off from your router to the extender, which then pushes it further into your space. Some extenders can operate on dual bands, utilizing one band to communicate with the router and the other to communicate with your devices. This helps maintain a stronger connection and doesn't necessarily halve your bandwidth like a repeater might. When you're comparing Wi-Fi repeater versus Wi-Fi extender, it's all about the performance. Extenders are generally more advanced, with capabilities that can support higher speeds and more reliable connections, even over greater distances. Mesh versus extender Wi-Fi But wait, there's another contender in the world of Wi-Fi solutions, mesh networks. The Wi-Fi range extender versus mesh debate is like comparing a local bus service to a fleet of taxis. A mesh network provides multiple points of access to the same network, covering your entire home with a consistent signal. It's a system designed to work together seamlessly, as opposed to extenders, which might require separate network names and manual switching between networks as you move around your home. In the mesh versus extender Wi-Fi matchup, Mesh systems are typically more user-friendly and provide more uniform coverage. They're designed to work out of the box, with little fuss and a lot of smarts, automatically routing your connection for the best signal possible. Access Point versus Range Extender Now let's clear up some confusion with access points. An access point is a device that creates a wireless local area network or WLAN, usually in a large space like an office. Unlike extenders, which communicate with routers via wireless connections, access points are directly connected to the router via an Ethernet cable, which means they can offer more stable and robust connections. In the access point versus range extender face-off, consider access points if you're looking for a more permanent solution in a fixed location, while extenders offer more flexibility and ease of setup. The Technical Tussle Wireless Repeater versus Extender now for the technical tussle. 
Wireless Repeater versus Extender If we peel back the layers, repeaters are typically less expensive and easier to set up but may not support the high speeds or dual band frequencies that extenders do. Extenders, with their more complex setup, can offer a broader range of features such as targeted signal direction and the ability to handle more devices at higher speeds. Setting up the Wi-Fi Booster, Wi-Fi Repeater, Wi-Fi Extender Setting up a Wi-Fi repeater is a breeze. It's like finding the perfect spot in a crowded room to hear a conversation. Just plug in the repeater halfway between your router and the Wi-Fi dead zone and press the WPS button to connect it automatically to your network. A simple login with the provided credentials and voila, your signal reaches further. A Wi-Fi extender requires a tad more effort but promises a stronger link. Think of it as building a bridge over a river to connect two lands. Place the extender within a good range of your router and connect to its network from a computer or smartphone. Access the setup page via a web browser. Follow the instructions to choose your existing network and extend it with ease. Wi-Fi boosters are the jack of all trades, the versatile heroes of Wi-Fi woes. Depending on whether they act more like a repeater or an extender, their setup will follow the respective steps. The key is to understand which type you have and then proceed as if setting up a repeater or an extender. Once set up, it's crucial to test your device's effectiveness. Walk around your space with a connected device to ensure the Wi-Fi signal is consistently strong. If it's not, a little adjustment to the position of your repeater or extender can make all the difference, much like tuning an instrument to get the perfect pitch. Using differences between the Wi-Fi booster, Wi-Fi repeater and Wi-Fi extender. A Wi-Fi repeater captures the signal from your router and ray broadcasting it to areas of your home that are whispering for attention. It's ideal for small to medium-sized homes where the signal only needs a gentle push to cover the extra square footage. Wi-Fi extenders are like bridge builders, creating new pathways for your Wi-Fi signal to travel further. It's perfect for larger homes or multi-story buildings where the signal needs a significant boost to reach all corners and cross barriers walls and floors. A Wi-Fi booster is the virtuoso of versatility, often equipped to act either as a repeater or an extender based on what your space demands. They are the go-to for those not quite sure where their signal falls short and who need a device that can adapt to a variety of scenarios. Choosing the right device comes down to understanding your domain. A repeater could suffice for pushing the signal into a nearby bedroom, but for sending Wi-Fi down to the basement den, an extender might be necessary. The booster stands by, ready to flex its capabilities as need. The verdict. Difference between Wi-Fi repeater and Wi-Fi extender. So, what's the verdict on the difference between Wi-Fi repeater and Wi-Fi extender? It's all about the way they spread your Wi-Fi signal. Repeaters are great for simple range extension, particularly in small spaces or areas with minimal Wi-Fi demands. Extenders, however, are the heavyweights, offering broader coverage and better performance, especially in larger homes or spaces with a higher demand for consistent signal strength. If you have a small budget, a simple Wi-Fi need, and a low Wi-Fi interference, you can choose a Wi-Fi repeater or a Wi-Fi booster. If you have a medium budget, a moderate Wi-Fi need, and a high Wi-Fi interference, you can choose a Wi-Fi extender or a Wi-Fi bridge. If you have a large budget, a complex Wi-Fi need, and a very high Wi-Fi interference, you can choose a Wi-Fi mesh or a whole home Wi-Fi. As we wrap up this digital journey, remember that choosing between a Wi-Fi booster, repeater, or extender is about assessing your specific needs. Consider the size and layout of your space, the number of devices you need to connect, and what activities you'll be using the internet for. Don't let dead zones dictate your digital experience. Make an informed choice and elevate your Wi-Fi to heights unimagined.